Hey there, I'm Gina. I'm a speech therapist. I'm a mom. And this channel is just for you. So if you have something you want to see a video about, make sure you comment down below. Also, while you're down there, subscribe and ring the bell. That way you'll be notified anytime new videos are posted. Today, I just want to talk to you about how you can make some changes to help stuttering. So I'm not discussing fluency shaping or modification. I personally feel like these are speech terms and jargon. You can talk to them about these things with your personal speech therapist, and I'm sure they'll jump into this with you. But these are just exercises you can practice to help improve your speech and make your speech more fluent. So let's jump in and get started. But first, before we do that, practice every single day. Yes, every day by yourself in a mirror. Some great ways you can practice are, I'm gonna give you these exercises and I'll give you some independent practice exercises to go with that. I recommend using those. Reading, reading is a great way to practice. Read out loud. And again, just practicing things you wanna talk about in the mirror. So let's jump in, let's get started with some things you can do to work on for practice. Are you ready? Light articulatory contact is just bringing together your articulators in a gentle way. Your articulators are your tongue, lips, and your teeth. Make it. Make it loud. So, heavy contact. My brother broke the puppy. <laughs> Those are silly, but M, B's, and P's are going to be ways for you to really see the difference between light and hard contact. So every time those lips together. So let's just try the word book. You're going to feel it with B. Book. Push your lips together really hard. Book. Give a lot of burst and volume. Book. That's hard contact. It's hard. It's effortful. Try lighter. Book. Book. Still some effort, but a little more controlled. And then try softer. Book. Book. Even softer. Book. Book. It sounds like you're almost whispering, but it should just be the first sound. Book. Book. And your contact will get better, and it should help calm you down, and reduce stuttering. So try that one. Try to figure out. Everyone's actual tension that they make is really different. So you have to figure out what's best for you. So try it out. Test a lot of different things. I definitely recommend doing this one in the mirror. Okay, so let's practice with the word ball. Listen how hard my lips come together with that pressure. Ball. Ball. Now, lightly. Press very lightly. Ball. Ball. It's almost like a whisper. Ball. Ball. You try. There's a separate set of exercises for these, but I want you to remember to breathe from, you, from your abdomen. This will give you a longer breath so that you can say more words and syllables. This will also allow your vocal cord to vibrate and reduce stuttering. When you slide, you have a controlled stretching of the first sound of the word. Let me explain it a little more. Slide. Yeah, we're doing the slide. So we're going to slide into that sound. A lot like the bounce, we're going to work with the first sound of a word or a word in the middle of the sentence. And then we're just going to stretch it out like silly, S silly. Stretch out that sound. Silly. Let's stretch out some together. We can do them in sentences too. Repeat after me. Use light tension. Soap. Wash your hands with soap. Zip. You try. Zip up your jacket. You try. Shh. 
shoes. Those shoes are fancy. S Sunday. Put a strawberry on top of my Sunday. Marshmallow. Use light contact. Give it a try. I need marshmallows to make s'mores. You did a great job. Keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you'll get. You can use this slide with any stutter you come across. Make sure you use light contact. If you have questions, make sure you comment down below. Bye!